Floodwaters from the Arkansas River continue to impact thousands of homes and businesses. Good evening, I'm Hillary Hunt. Stephanie Sharp has the evening off. One family in Faulkner County doing everything they can to protect their home tonight. They actually tell Fox 16's Rochelle Turner that this is the worst flooding they've ever seen. Rochelle, they're going around on a boat. Hillary, that's exactly right. Good evening to you. Todd and Tammy Don Patton call it devastating. They have experienced flooding before, but now this is what their home looks like. This is just one of the roads that they live on. They're praying the river will return normal soon. I've seen it out of its banks a thousand times. But... This is the routine for Todd Patton and his family. Before he takes us down what used to be Patton Road in Wooster. Well, I've lived here my whole life and I've, I've seen it over that road three times. About a half of a mile later, we arrive at his house. I grew up on this creek right out here. I've seen it out of its banks a thousand times, but you know, nothing ever like this. This basketball goal and even their swimming pool. You see this stuff all the time on TV, but you don't think it'll ever happen to you. Surrounded by 40 inches of flood water from the Arkansas River. Here we are. You know, it, it happened to us. This photo shows what it looks like from a bird's eye view. I mean, we've worked so hard trying to get this out of the house. They started building this wall around the home with help from the community. A bunch of people showed up and we just went to moving blocks. It took about five hours. They've also moved thousands of sandbags. For three or four days, we have been re-sandbagging and sandbagging on top of sandbags. And using these generators for an extra layer of protection. We don't have flood insurance. Um, and we're just trying to keep it out of the house. With more long days ahead, the Pattons are hoping it will soon be over. Never dreamed that it would be anything like this. Pattons tell me this wouldn't be possible without help from the football team, county workers, and several volunteers who worked hours to get the job done. The family says every day they're adding more bisqueen and sandbags to make sure the walls around their house stay extremely high. Back to you. To plan your day with meteorologist Kristen.